I think we have. Yes, I see the line. It's working. I think it's working. And if it's working, it means it's time to power on. Yeah. <laughs> do -do 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 -do. It's Casbot with sound. Oh, sorry about the delay, folks. I guess, yeah, I just needed to restart. I assume you could hear me now because my equalizer is bouncing. If you can't, please let me know. Creed here, sound noise is excellent. I won't need to quickly uh, write everything. <laughs> uh, let me open up a actual file that I could uh, draw in here, if I can. Go, go, go. Now my uh, now my Photoshop's being weird. There we go. And I will just erase this stuff that was in here. That's an old thing that we don't need. I am Gazbot, and this is TRL, which is Twitch Request Live. Many of you have been here before, so thank you for coming back. Thank you for new. I'm going to just say hello again to Ox and Dolly Girl and Creed Stonegate and... Uh, we got Danny, and it uh, looks like Marshall Lee is here. Excellent. So we got quite a nice crowd. Uh, you could talk. You could lurk, whatever you want. If you want to put some requests in, I will open up the queue in just a second. Uh, normally, we do this Fridays, but we're here today Sunday because I had a uh, on-site caricature gig I had to do Friday. Sound effects have been engaged. All right. So here's what I'm going to do. I'm going to open up the uh, – let me see, queue. I'm going to open it up. Boop. All right. So now if you want to put in a request – you, you follow the instructions here. You put exclamation point, the word request, space, and then what you want. And then I will do – I'm doing random again today. So I'll get a list, and then I will each time randomly pick something, which uh, could result in good good for you or bad for you, depending <laughs> on your luck this week. While that is getting settled, I'm going to go ahead and do a sketch for myself of what – I don't know. Probably, I'm going to do some kind of robot. I'm going to do a robot thing, just a quick little gym jam. Yeah, so normally I do this Friday, uh, but this Friday I also – one of the things I do is caricatures at, like, birthday parties and stuff. And it was actually a Valentine's Day party at a, uh, a fancy, like, apartment where they have, like, a party for the, the – what do you call it? Not the guests. The residents. So I was there doing that. So that was good and, and nice for money, but – why am I drawing a skull? I did that last time. I did like a robot zombie. I don't want to do that this time. All right, let's see. We got a few coming up here. Okay, we got Ox and uh, Marshall Lee and Dolly Girl got some things in there. So right now we got three. So as of now, everybody has a 33% chance of getting chosen. So excellent. Let me see if I'm missing anything in chat here. I'm not even drawing yet. Uh, draw Lita. That, well, that does not surprise me. Uh, da, 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 da. Treader Goblin also does not surprise me. Giant Claw. I'm not sure what that is. I'll have to look it up if that gets chosen. Creed Stonegate. Cookie Croc, Cookie Cop, or his dog. Oh, from Cookie Crisp. Okay. I'm like, Co what? <laughs> All right. So there's some good ones. So right now we got four in there. So let me just do uh, – let me bring this down to 50%. Try to let me try something different. I'm just gonna kind of diggle a shape, diggle, doodle, doodle a shape, and then I'll I'll put detail over it. I've seen um in some of like the art of Star Wars books and stuff, I've seen a lot of them use like gray Copic markers or whatever, and their first pass will kind of look like this, and then they'll go over it and like of course they're doing it traditional, not digital, but it is an interesting almost like a, a gesture drawing even with mechanical things, which is interesting where they you know just sort of play with it but they leave all the underdrawing in and sort of get a shape uh that maybe they wouldn't have gotten let's see uh danny putting a request in too okay cool so we got five requests in right now and i'm going to put some vertical lines on this guy and then some circles and do it quick i'm not i'm not even thinking about what it's going to be obviously it's some sort of mechanical robot beast beast or a man why, why does or a woman or it's, it's, it's a beast implies I realize as I said a beast implies something negative a beast could just be a dog that's a beast you know we, we could be considered beasts you know like in the technical sense so it's a mechanical beast sure that just implies it has some sort of self-motivation I suppose all right let's see uh, what do we got here? Oh, Mr. KT Man. Hey, how you doing? What are you up to today? Well, I'm doing this obviously uh, earlier I was cleaning the house and now I'm doing this. Thanks for stopping by KT man uh, da -da -da -da. Yeah, I, I'm, I'm having a pretty good day. I, I spent a lot of this weekend cleaning the house, reorganizing, throwing away old boxes from toys I didn't need to save, things like that. But in between, I've been doing my 30 minutes on my uh, The 100s anthology, as those of you that follow me know, and as some of you also are doing that are in the chat. Oh boy, what's happening? Mr. KT Man hosting with one viewer. Thank you very much. I will take that one viewer. I will take a half a viewer. Any host is a good host. So thank you very much for that. Uh, and feel free to throw in a request, Mr. KT, man. We got five in the queue right now. If you want to do it, it's exclamation point, request, space, and then whatever character you might want to see me do. I'm going to finish this up real quick here. I think this will be the last pass because I don't want to spend too long on this. And then I'll do a random selection of my first – whoa, Samurai Ox, not to be outdone, also hosting. Thank you very much. Thank you very kindly. Thank you very Oxley. 
So I have a tendency when I'm doing mechanical stuff, when I'm not thinking about it and I'm just blasting it out like I am now, I put a lot of like circles um, on, on the joints and then I put a, just a lot of extra little pistons and lines and things like almost like the person designing it was like didn't have a really good game plan going in and is like building it out of stuff they find like and then I'll do that on one side and then try to kind of copy it on the other side so there's sort of a symmetry. Um, that's I'm not saying that's right, wrong or even why I do it. Uh, it's just I've noticed that when I'm not paying attention, like I mean, I'm paying attention, but you know, you know, just sort of going off the top of my head, not trying to create anything specific. You get a lot of circles, a lot of random pieces that don't make sense, and then attempt at symmetry. <laughs> Let's see. Uh, we got here. Roger request Roger. Okay, cool. So we got a Roger Rabbit request. Nice. So we got one, two, we got six requests in. So everybody has a 20% chance of getting chosen. Oh, one thing I'll mention uh, that I, I started, well, I, I decided to start it last week, but I'm implementing it this week is you only get one, you could do as many requests as you want, but if one gets chosen, you only get one per show. Uh, because last week we had a thing where somebody got two, and I've had that before when there was less people, but if there's people waiting that haven't gotten chosen yet, I don't think that's fair. So one one chosen request per show is how we're going to do it uh, from this point on. Uh, just, to, again, to keep the diversity of, of choices up and hopefully make everybody happy that they have an equal chance of getting picked. Uh, which you do, but again, if if you, yeah, you you get it, you guys get it. I don't have to explain it. You understand. <laughs> so if you if you get chosen, uh, don't put another request in. Um, and if if you do, I'll have to remove it because it, it won't count until next week. But yeah, so I mostly spent the weekend, like I said, cleaning the house, organizing. I had a job yesterday. I had to go out and do characters at the Valentine's Day party. Uh, and then a little bit of work on my 100 Days comic. What about everybody else? Uh, I imagine some of you are working on artwork. I know there's a, quite a few artists in there. Uh, anything else interesting going on this weekend for anybody? I know uh, I know Marshall Lee saw Battle Angel Alita and loved it. I want to see it, but I haven't seen it yet. I feel like there was a few weeks where there wasn't any like movies out that I wanted to see, and then all of a sudden a bunch came out, and I haven't seen any of them because I want to see Lego Movie. I want to see Battle Angel. I feel like there's another one too I want to see. Let's see. <laughs> Summer Hacks rigged, flipping the table. You don't know. You're See, now you're assuming that you're going to lose. You, you're putting that negativity out there. Now I can't help it if you lose. It's not going to be my fault. You put all the negativity out. Put some more details. I'm almost done with this contraption, mechanical beast, as I said. And I'm not going crazy trying to make it symmetrical, but I'm, you know, just a little bit kind of noticing the details I put on the other side just to give it a little bit of symmetry. Maybe his hand straight up. He's he's not fighting. He's like, hey, what are you doing? Get out of here. You don't have the pass to be backstage. Maybe he's like a he's a bouncer, but he's not an especially tough bouncer. He's more like a uh, clerical bouncer. Let's see what we got. Any responses from? Uh, okay, Marshall. Uh, I hope to be able to do mechs like this someday. Oh, dude, you could do it right now. It's easy. Like, I'm not, I'm not doing. If you really look at this, this is a mess. It makes no sense. Like when I turn these off, see how much sloppier it gets. By leaving in those background ones, it really helps. Uh, I'm gonna do one more layer that puts a little highlight, cause why not? And then uh, let me see what do we got. Mr. KT man, been playing Mafia 3 and Batman. Oh, nice. Batman Arkham Knight on Xbox. Cool. Yeah, I'm so behind on video games. I barely play any anymore. I've been wanting to play that Spider-Man game that came out that everybody loves, and I not only have I not played it, I haven't even bought it. And I haven't bought it because I know I won't have time to play it. I For a while, I was buying new games, and I wouldn't play them for so long that they would go on sale. So I'd pay 50 60 whatever it was when it came out, and then by the time I got around to playing it, I could have bought it for 25 30 bucks on sale. So that's that's what I do now. I don't buy anything new because I'm so slow to get to it. But it's cool that you're, you're having fun playing games. And let's see, Dolly Girl. I missed Watch last week because I was working two jobs. Now. Oh, man. Well, we, we missed you, but I completely understand. I'm sorry you have to work two jobs. Uh, hopefully that's a temporary thing, or hopefully it's something you want. I hope it's not a, you know, you're hurting for money and... You know, I mean, that happens to everybody, but I, I don't wish that on you. <laughs> and it, sleep is more important than the show. All right, so I'm just going to save this as robot whatever and move on to the requests. So we'll call it robo. There, fine, robo. Good enough. And then we'll clear those out. Yes. And then let me get my camera to take a picture since the thing is a little bit wonky. Uh, what do we say? Ox says, Alita was really fun and well done. Doing some sketches right now. Awesome. Yeah, uh, so that's two votes for Alita. Uh, and then Mr. KT Man just saying hi to Samurai Ox. All right, so let me take a picture here of my screen. This is the super high-tech way we do it. Okay, and then I will pick random. Cloop, and what do we got? What disappeared? We got... 
Oh, looks like it's Mr. KT Man, Roger Rabbit. I'm doing Roger Rabbit first. There we are, number one. So let me quick uh, go to my browser to pull up a reference for Roger Rabbit, because while I have seen that movie and think it's a masterpiece uh, of blending of animation and live action, I haven't seen it in a while, and I don't know if I've ever drawn Roger Rabbit, and I just put Robit. <laughs> not, not Robit Ragit. What? Roger Rabbit. Roger Rabbit hopping down the trail. All right, Roger Rabbit. So if there's anybody uh, also that's lurking that isn't in the chat that's just watching, that's fine. You can throw a request in. You don't have to be talking. You could just put a request and nothing else, and that's totally fine too. So let's see. Okay, here's my – oh, for those that don't know, this is Roger Rabbit. He's a, a cartoon from a – I mean, he's had a couple of his own movies, but uh, – his own animated movies, but primarily he's known from the live-action one. All right, so that's pretty good. Oh, I like this one. I'm trying to find a good expression, a good zany. Uh, that's probably good enough. All right, let me save that. Okie doke. And then I'll zoom in. Let me close that now that I don't need it anymore. Could do do do. All right, yeah. So if you don't have a request in, um, feel free to throw one in. And after I do this, I will pull up another request, and I'll be doing this for uh, about an hour, about an hour and a half still. I started a few minutes late, so I'll, I'll go a little late. I feel like that's a common theme. I started late, so I'll end late. Let me move this. I'm missing some of the chat here. Uh, let's see. It says. Ox doing well, Mr. K. Okay, rocking some sketches, and then Dolly's love. Ro okay, good. So Dolly loves Roger Rabbit too. So the two people will be happy with this. And then, oops, I gotta lower that opacity a little bit. Let's go down to 50. And then uh, Samurai Ox is waiting for Peter as well to throw a tanker. Oh yeah, Peter Palmiotti. Yeah. Uh, well, who knows? He might not be able to make it because I normally do it the Friday. So maybe because it's Sunday, he won't be able to. I should be back on schedule next week. I mean, Friday's the default. I I, I always want to do it on Friday. Um, I've missed. <laughs> Oh, it's a turkey lurky. Ha <laughs> ha. Hexmataz, thanks for the lurk. Always appreciate it, man. Hexmataz uh, mostly streams role-playing stuff uh, like Pathfinder and things like that, if that interests you. Uh, I Oh, yeah. I, as I'm saying that, I realize I need to set up the, uh, the little shout-out thing still because I never quite figured out how to get that going right other than my mouth saying it. <laughs> Um, what was I saying? Oh, so yeah, Friday is when I want to do it, but you know, life happens and stuff. So I missed one show completely and then I just didn't do it for a week. So I, I feel like this week, okay, well, I'll do it on Sunday. So that's kind of be, I think what I'm going to do going forward is if I miss it and I'm able to, I'll try to make it up on another day. I can't promise that I will, but I'd rather, you know, do it a different day than not at all. Which brings me to another subject, actually. Whoa, Hexmataz with a hundred biddies. Uh, cheers, bits, all the same. You're lurking. You're you're hiding in a little hidey hole and just throwing out bits at me. So thank you very much for that. That is unexpected, unnecessary, but much appreciated, sir. Much appreciated. And you know, feel free to even though you're lurking, you can throw a request out if you want as well. Um, that, I, mean, I mean, maybe you're just happy that I'm doing Roger Rabbit. Who knows? But uh, what was it? Was I saying? Oh, which brings me to my next thing. Oh, hold on. Let's see. Uh, Mr. KT Man uh, saying I'm a great artist. Well, that's very kind of you. Thank you. Uh, what do you want me to draw for you? Well, you know, uh, Mr. KT Man is also an artist, and I, I follow him on Instagram, uh, and I enjoy looking at your stuff. You've done me a, a Power Ranger. I, I like to let people do whatever they want. I find you get the best work that way. Um, you had done a Power Ranger for me, and that was cool. I don't know what else I would request. Um, oh, you know what? I'll tell you what, Mr. KT Man. You don't have to draw anything for me, but if you want to, uh, maybe do a uh, a werewolf because uh, I'm, I have werewolf on the brain because of the group I'm in and the anthology, uh, werewolves and unicorns. Uh, so I mean, we could do a unicorn for that matter. I mean, I prefer werewolves, but werewolves and unicorns is the theme of the book, so I, I've been thinking about them a lot. So if you wanted to do something, if you ne needed a suggestion, that would be my suggestion to you. Um, so feel free to take it or leave it as you choose. Um, what was I saying? Oh, going back to scheduling and if I miss a show whenever, um, I've talked a lot about doing, you know, random streams here and there in between, and I've done a few, but not many. Lately I've been busy and it's mostly just been this show. And what I, I, I probably will, like, theoretically I'll still do a random stream here and there, but it doesn't seem to be happening is my point. <laughs> but I have an idea for another regular show, which will motivate me to do, uh, two a week and uh, I don't have all the details worked out yet, but likely I will start another show in the next, uh, within the next couple weeks. 
And it'll probably be – this is also why – because I was saying I would maybe make up the Fridays on a Sunday, but the show might be on Sunday. So then it might not be possible. But it'll probably be on Sunday or Monday. Uh, I'm still working out the details of the exact time and day. Uh, if anybody has a preference of a it'll, – it'll be night. It'll be evening, kind of similar time to this, maybe a little earlier, a little later. But it would be Sunday or Monday. So if anybody has a preference for what day they think would be better out of Sunday or Monday, let me know because those are kind of floating around right now. But uh, I don't want to give too much away – but it will be it, – it'll still involve art. It's not going to be a video game show, but it will have uh, a talk uh, component to it more than just me. There will be uh, potentially other – another a co-host or, or guest or something like that. Um, and uh, – oh, Arizuki just walked in. Hello, Arizuki. <laughs> and uh, – yeah, I don't want to get, I don't want to put the cart before the horse and talk about it too much. But again, I, I'll have an announcement on my Instagram and Facebook and places like that if you follow me there. And if you don't, you should. Otherwise, you won't find out. Uh, let's see. Oh, sorry, uh, Mr. KT Man. Uh, what you want me to draw? Oh, your headphones are acting up. Uh, well, I was saying, you know, I, I most prefer when people draw whatever they want because I feel like you get the best artwork for that, Mr. KT Man. But if you want a suggestion, I would say a werewolf because uh, of the group I'm in, the 100 uh, hundred Days of Making Comics, the 100s, uh, doing the anthology Werewolves and Unicorns right now. So I have werewolf on the brain. Uh, you could also do a unicorn. But as I was saying before, I am more a personal fan of werewolves. But, you know, do werewolf, do unicorn. Do something else completely. Whatever makes you happy. I think that's, again, that's how you get the best uh, best artwork there. Let me zoom out a little bit of Roger here. And uh, put the other hand. And then I'll do another quick pass. I think this first pass came out better than I thought. I think I need to adjust a little bit on his face. But not, not too shabby for having never drawn this guy before. What do we got? Erzuki subscribing. Thank you. That is your three-month subscription. You're on a streak. You're a hero and a champion. And you're a legend, as you like to say. <laughs> And Roger, he's, I don't know what he's talking about, but he's hes making good points. He's like, hey, hey, I'm Roger Rabbit. All right, I think uh, maybe his, this should curve up a little bit more is the difference, I think. I'll give it, like his whole mouth, his whole, like, what do you call these pouch things on the side of his head? They're, they're like part of the smile, sort of. And then the back of his head, you could see a little bit more of his skull. And then the front of his head is all just eyes. Oh, and he has eyebrows that I didn't really draw. And then his hair. All right, so let me let me make all this lighter, and then I will do a cleanup layer right here. Let's see, I think I missed some chat. Erzuki with her subscription. Erzuki and KT Man saying hi to each other. Dolly Girl, everybody's just being friendly, so that's good. Okay, so let me zoom in a little bit here. Do 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 do. And I said this before, but for anybody just coming in, I am now I'm only doing uh, one request per person per stream. So once your request has been chosen, feel free to hang out and chat and whatever. And you know, you can even talk about what you'd like to see next week. But uh, I, I I've had a thing where a few people got more than one, while other people got none. And so to keep it fair, it's one per viewer per stream going forward. I think is a pretty simple rule and. Uh, and I think it's more fair for everybody that way. Uh, and that way Ox doesn't flip tables and say things are rigged when someone else gets chosen twice and he doesn't get chosen once, which honestly I think is a, a fair complaint. <laughs> Not that Ox complained to me, just to be clear. I wasn't singling him out as like a troublemaker or something. It's more that I saw the situation and realized that it was probably better to change it. Let's see. Uh, Mr. KT Man, how about a hybrid werewolf? Yeah, sure. Hybrid of a werewolf and unicorn. Like I said, whatever whatever you want, whatever uh, inspires you and your creativity is is probably the right answer. You know what I mean? Okay. I don't know if I'm going to do color. I usually like to do color when I do more cartoon characters like this, but I also have been spending a lot of time on each individual drawing as I've done these, and I've been trying to get more done. So I don't know. Let me, let me check the time here. Yeah, we're closing in. I, know, I might do a quick color pass. We'll see. We'll see. I'm not going to commit to anything right now. We'll see how long it takes me to do this cleanup. <clears throat> Excuse me. Let's see. Erzuki. Uh, oh, Diane Glitter's here. Erzuki, LOL. <laughs> and Erzuki says, I took a two-hour nap, so lazy Sunday. Well, that that is officially a lazy Sunday. You are You are correct. And you are entitled to all the naps you want with all the work you've been doing lately, helping me clean the house and stuff. We've been, we've been, I said before, like I was doing a lot of housework and organizing and cleaning. And uh, Erzuki, for those that don't know, is my wife and she lives with me and uh, she was right there doing it with me. So she's entitled to a nap. And let's see, uh, Erzuki, okay, Diane Glitter, okay. She supervised. Well, you know, I am difficult to supervise, so it takes a lot of energy to, uh, 
to get me to do what needs to be done. I'm running around, playing with toys, singing songs. It's like, hey, uh, we're supposed to be cleaning. Could you please stop uh, playing with toys? And I'm like, I could use the toys to clean. Let's see. Dangler, yay! <laughs> yeah, I think I'm... I don't know. I, I want to... I'm really torn between like wanting to color things and again get it more done because I feel like with a character like this I want to throw some color in, but I find myself now rushing like I gotta hurry up so I have time for color and I don't want to do that either so I'm just gonna relax a little bit, put some little whiskers in here. Oh, you know what? These should be, these ones are okay because they come from the like kind of the muzzle right here, but these ones have to come in too. So he's got like three on each side and then he's got three little dots here. All right. We were in uh, Disneyland a couple of years ago, like two two years ago, two, three years ago, uh, Erzuki and I, and they had a Roger Rabbit ride still, which I was surprised because I, A, I didn't remember that, that Roger Rabbit was a Disney movie, um, and maybe it's not because they have other stuff that they license stuff, but it had come out so long ago, I was surprised they still had a ride, uh, and it was fun, It was I enjoyed going, it was one of those rides where it, the ride itself was fine, but it was more like the atmosphere of the line and like the way you felt like you were in the Roger Rabbit world, that was the cool part, you know, the, the, the ride itself was fine, it was just, you know, you'd sit on a track and go around and whatever, but let's see, um, <laughs> Diane Glitter, fun cleaning, Dolly Girl says, Air Zuki, I'm good, okay, so they're just chatting, I don't want to... <laughs> <laughs> repeat everything they're saying, but they're just having fun connections in the chat here on Gazbot Lane, which apparently is uh, what it is since I said that on Christmas, and I keep repeating myself. All right, he's got some pokers. He's got some dots, some polka dots. Polka? Polka dots? Polka dots is more like when you have an accordion, and you're... That's not what a polka sounds like, but they do use accordions. I'm correct on that. All right, a little bit of fur coming up into his hand. I'm Roger Rabbit. I'm trying to think of how he talked. <laughs> he would go like, please, Eddie. He'd do that a lot. I know that. He'd like, oh, boy. Yeah, I can't I can't think of how he sounds, except for that little, <laughs> he would do that. Yeah, that movie was really good. I haven't seen it in a few years. I'm almost ready to see it again. I always have a, it's tough because back in the, it's tough because we're in this golden age of media and back in the day it was like, oh my gosh, a good movie I like and I'll watch it 50 times because there's only one this that came out this year and I only have so many VHS tapes and things like that. But now it's like every time I rewatch a movie I like, that's like, well, that's one more movie that I haven't seen that's been on my list to see for a while. So it's one of those good problems to have, you know, so much awesome entertainment that you sometimes miss out on it. But I guess that's that's better. I'd rather have more entertainment than I could ever consume in a lifetime than be sitting around with nothing to do. Okay, that's pretty good. All right, I'm going to... Oh, a little tail. I almost forgot his little tail. Hold on. It kind of looks like a... The way they do it, it's less of the normal circle puff, and it's almost like a piece of ice cream or something, a little puff coming out like that. All right, I'm going to go ahead... Oh, you know what? This is... He's not supposed to be giving the middle finger, but the way I drew it, it looks almost like he's giving the middle finger. That yeah, fixes it a little bit. And then I think... Maybe he'll move this line up a little bit, too. He's only got four fingers, like a lot of cartoon characters. So I guess it could be his middle finger, depending on which finger you decide he doesn't have. Uh, let's see. Uh, Dang Glitter loves Gazbot Lane. Her favorite of all the lanes. Erzuki concurs it's a good lane. Uh, Dang Glitter watched Split today with you. Oh, good. Uh, I know you had watched the, the Glass and didn't like it that much, but maybe now that you've watched Split, it makes more sense. It's a trilogy with Unbreakable, for those that don't know. Creed Stonegate says, the Roger Rabbit shorts are awesome, too. I think there's five or six of them. Yeah, I haven't seen any of the shorts. Or maybe I, maybe I saw one like a million years ago. Uh, like, there was one that came out shortly after Roger Rabbit. Oh, no, you know what? I'm thinking of there was a baby Huey short. Huey, was that his name? The, the baby that smoked cigars? There was a baby short that I saw around the time it came out and the other ones I did not see. And this mouth looks like it actually needs to tuck in a little bit like that. That's better. All right. So I'm going to turn that off and I'm going to go ahead and throw in a quick color layer real quick. And then we're going to move on. So if you don't have a request in, use the old exclamation point request and then space and what you want. And that's how you get on the list. Uh, and then I will do a random choice. So whether you put it on now or earlier or later, you have an equal chance of getting in one winner per stream Per person, rather, not person. There's there's several winners per stream, but one per person per stream. Uh, and you don't have to be a chatter. You could be a lurker and just throw in your request. That's fine. And I will be doing the next one very shortly. I'm just like I said, I'm gonna do a quick color pass on this. I'm not even gonna do any shading. I'm just gonna fill in. I realize he's white, uh, but I will put a, a color background behind him so we could see the white. I think will help too. 
Mr. Rabbit that is. Let's see. Herman, baby Herman. What did I say? Did I, Herman, baby Herman? Now I feel like that's what I said, but I can't remember. <laughs> baby Herman, the smoking baby, yeah. Well, that that sounds right to me. So thank you for that. Baby Herman. Yeah, and then there was another movie. Uh, it wasn't as good, but it was a similar type of thing called Cool World. came out a few years later, and it was a more mature sort of take on it. Uh, but it was, again, similar where it like melded animation and live action. I love that format. I would like to see a modern movie. Well, I guess... I guess Ready Player One did it a little bit, but not really. It wasn't the same. Uh, it wasn't the same as like there was this cartoon world that was mixing with the real world. It was, yeah, I, I, it, it was as close as I've seen. I guess there were some older ones too, like the old Dick Van Dyke ones and stuff where they mix with cartoons. But that was more, I, I don't know, it wasn't quite the same. Like the, the, Roger Rabbit and Cool World were the only ones I could think of where it was literally like there is another dimension or there's another world or there's another race of living beings that are animated versus you know magic or or some other explanation <clears throat> excuse me uh dang glitter aquaman i don't think that went in you need to do exclamation point no space the word request then a space and then whatever you're requesting um creed stonegate i'm chatting about lurking i refuse to be categorized you <laughs> airsuki space jam Space Jam, okay, I will give you that. Space Jam does fit into that category. You're right. Uh, I don't think it is anywhere close to the same quality as the other movies, but it does fit into that genre, so points for Airzuki. All right, let me put in a background color here. I was going to do orange, but that's kind of the color of his gloves. Okay, I'll do a light, a light green. I think a light green will work. Floop. And then I'll put, because it is animation and they often have softer backgrounds, I'll put just a little bit of a whoosh around him like this that's a whoosh, that's the artistic term whoa whoosh. there we go whoosh, in there and a little whoosh over here and it's all whooshed up all right oh i missed his tail here let me put a little bit of red on that here comes roger ready tail it won't stay red for long though all right so select all of this and now we'll go in with white for his fur which is what most of his body has, but he has, you know, the overalls, which are red, which is why I chose red to begin with, so I'll just leave them. Whenever I fill in uh, a character like this, I always try to pick one color, one of the major colors, so that it's one less thing I have to color when I go in and separate like this. So there's that, and his arms, and then we just got to do his head. Oh, and his chest as well. I realize his chest is sticking out underneath the overalls and the bow tie, which is an interesting uh, fashion choice. Let's see. Um, Erzuki, you shut up and love Michael Jordan. I'm not saying it was the worst movie in the world or that I hate Michael Jordan. I'm not saying that. <laughs> no, it, it was okay, I guess. Um, but it, it just wasn't anywhere close to the other two on the level of story or, or, or more the technical stuff either. It was just sort of a fun throwaway movie, whereas the other two both like really earned a place in cinema history, in my opinion. All right, let's see. Diane Glitter, request Aquaman. Got it wrong. <laughs> I don't know if I got it right. Uh, Erzuki is going to help Diane Glitter. <laughs> yeah, when I first opened the request uh, queue, it, it sort of tells you how to do it. But when you come in later, you have to rely on the, the kindness of strangers or people you know in the chat or strangers you know in the chat. All right, so then in his mouth is red, but it's a little bit darker red, I think. So we'll go down here. Sample that. Get a little Roger Rabbit mouth going, and his tooth is white. So let me switch back to white. I... There, his eyes are white. Actually, his eyes have a slight blue tint to them. The, the eyeballs, not just the pupils, but the eyeballs have a slight blue tint to them. Which is, I guess, sort of a shading, but since I'm not going to get into shading, I'm just going to... No, it actually, no, they actually do have a color. It's not just shading, because then it would be the same shading on the rest of them. Okay, and then he has bright blue, actually, in the eyes for the... Uh, pupil irises irises the iris is the color the iris, pupil is the hole the black hole the black hole of the eye there we go that works and then he's got blue oh yeah i gotta make this blue oh yeah bow tie blue and then we'll go back in for the polka dots and I'll put a little pink on his nose and his ears and then we're moving on to the next request so get your request in diane glitter i hope you got yours figured out i'll check in a minute before i do the request to make sure it worked for you and then we're going to pick the next one. So anybody that has one that they want to put in, that haven't put in, now is the time. 
Now is the time. All right, so get some pink. We'll do the same pink as his tongue on his nose. And then, oh, I got to color his hair red, too. I forgot about that. So I got a few more seconds. Let me see. Let me check chat real quick. We got uh, Erzuki, Diane the Glitter. I don't know. Oh, I think Diane Glitter. I think she did it. Yep. And Erzuki got her request in. And here comes the big dog. He's got a request in. So we got a, quite a <laughs> – <laughs> big dog. We got quite a few requests in. We got eight in right now. So that is that. Um, I think the one thing I'm missing on this is there's – it looks like they put a little – oh, well, let me do his hair. And then there's a little shine they put on the nose, which I'll put in, and then we'll be done. His eyebrows. His eyebrows are red too, but they're a darker red, more like the inside of his um, mouth. And I think I drew the, the top of the hair a little bit different than they do. They have it coming up in almost like a ponytail thing where I had it more connected to the scalp. But that's fine. That's a tiny bit of artistic license. Get the mouth there and eyebrows. And I think we can call Roger Dunn. Yes, Dunn Rabbit. Roger Dunn Rabbit. Okay, so let me save that. And we'll call it Roger R. He's done. Let me erase all of this. Gloop. Let me close my Roger Rabbit picture. All right, let's see. Don't call him Dunn. His name is Roger. Okay. All right, so we have eight people. Let me do my picture-taking scenario. Got to unlock my phone, you see. Okay, so taking a picture of the list. Okay, and now we are going to random select on the list. Pick random. Who was it? It was not Diane Glitter. It was not Big Dog. It was Erzuki. Erzuki with Green Arrow. So Erzuki, Green Arrow, winner, winner. I'll make you dinner, which I will do later. But that's not what you've won. <laughs> I feel like I'm cheating somehow. I was well. Uh, I oh, <laughs> she's farting at herself. I thought somebody else farted her win, but no, she's farting at herself. All right, so we're going to do a – did you say green arrow? Yes. All right, so let me grab a little dark blue. Actually, I'll do dark green. makes more sense, doesn't it? Yes, Gaz, it does. Okay. So, oh, you know what? I should get open a little uh, ref window. I, I mean, I pretty much know what green arrow looks like, but, you know, it never hurts to have a ref window. Ref is short for reference for the cool kids. It could also be for referee, but that would make no sense in this context. Green. Arrow, two R's, one O W. Images. I missed the sound the first time around. I see. Uh, I don't think it worked the second time because there's a, a limit. You can only do it like once per minute so somebody doesn't spam too many farts. So you may have to wait a few seconds to actually be able to hear it. All right, I'm looking at my Green Arrow reference. For those that don't know Green Arrow, there's a lot of versions. This is the character we're talking about. He's sort of a Robin Hood guy from DC. Um, he has obviously a show. Well, not obviously. You might not know. He has a show as well. And I think I found a reference that I like. Oops, where'd it go? Yeah, this one. Save image. Save. And open that image. And close the browser to save the bandwidth. Let's see. Erzuki... Ah, uh, there's a timeout. Erzuki, whoa, whoa, wait, whoa. Are you cheating? I meant from the show Arrow. First of all, you said Green Arrow. You didn't get more specific, and there's creative license. Second of all, I am going to do the one from the show. I was just showing people who the character is. But had I decided to do the DC Comics version, that would be legitimate. That would be absolutely legitimate. Now, here's where she disagrees with me. <laughs> mm. I mean, if you don't want to give me freedom, third of all... Cat Uzi Heart, okay. All right, so here we go with the green arrow. I got my reference up, and we are goo goes. I'm going to do this one a little differently. I'm going to do it kind of the way – you know what? I'm going to turn this, actually. Uh, canvas – oops, nope, not size. Rotation, edit, image rotation. I need to use clockwise. Yeah, I want the uh, – my nose itches, sorry. I'm going to erase this so I can get a horizontal canvas like that, yes. And I'm going to do this, uh, if you were watching a while back, I did a Mecha Godzilla, um, and this is kind of how I do those, it's sort of like a build-up. Um, I don't I don't know, it, it, when I'm doing more heavy shadow or like a lot of detail where I just want to 
not worry about it too much. Sometimes I'll do it this way. This is not my normal way of doing it, but occasionally I will. And uh, that's what I'm doing right now. So it, it, it actually, this kind of goes back to the, the mech drawing I did in the beginning uh, style where I'm just sort of getting in rough shapes first, you know. Let's see, Erzuki, chatting up a chat. Uh, whoa, this fuzzy green is messing with my eyes. Well, don't don't put it in your eyes. I don't know. It, it could cause a burning sensation in your eyes if you're not careful, I suppose. All right, so then I take that, bring it down to 50, and then I will bring the brush down to 100. Oops, 100, and go for another round. Oops, another layer. Sorry. So kind of get. He wears a hood. That's most versions of Green Hour wear a hood. Not all, but most. And certainly in the show, that's a big part of it is the hood. In the beginning, he wasn't. He was called the Hood. He wasn't even called Green Hour. He wasn't even called Arrow. It was the Hood. Then it was Arrow. And then in like season four, they're like, all right, Green Arrow. And I think that in the the in world like universe, I think it's not even 100 percent clear. Uh, like people think it was two or three different people. They don't even necessarily all know it was the same person just evolving his his name and look over time. Let's see. Um, Big Dog. If they were to have Green Arrow in a DC live action movie, who are some people that you would want to play Oliver Queen? Um, Steve Amell. Th end of list. I mean, he's the guy that plays it on TV. Similarly, how I want, I think Grant Gustin should have played The Flash. I'm kind of glad he didn't because I, I like the show and I hear the movie was not good. I haven't seen it myself, but... But yeah, I, I would I, I think it would be better to have the actor of the show who we've built up all this history and sentiment and investment in than get a big budget movie as opposed to trying to reinvent the character with someone new. Like, I don't know. It makes no sense. I mean, that's how it used to be. There'd be a, a, like a TV show like Star Trek and then the cast would be in a movie and it would be like a, a big budget thing. They wouldn't like cast a new cast. I mean, that's what they've done more recently. But like in the past, when a TV show got a movie it was usually the actors from the TV show. So I, that I, maybe I'm old fashioned, but I prefer it that way. Okay. got a string coming up here. So, yeah. Um, let's see. Erzuki, Steve Amell, stop, <laughs> stop messing around cinematic universe. Only she used a worse word. Uh, big dog. Erzuki. I don't disagree. I personally have a soft spot for Charles Hunam from Sons of Anarchy and Pacific Rim. Oh, Charlie. Uh, I don't know. I don't know who that is. Uh, I've seen Pacific Rim. I had never seen Sons of Anarchy. I know that um, I know that Ron Perlman was in both of those things, but I don't think that's who you're talking about. Similarly, I wish Ron Perlman was going to be in the new Hellboy movie, and it was him and Guillermo del Toro finishing their saga before recasting. You know, I mean, the new one might be good, but I, I don't know. I like people to follow through on things. All right, we'll do one more pass here. We'll bring this down to 25. We'll bring this to 50, and we'll put a new layer in, and I'll go a little bit darker. And I will switch to more of a steady pressure and bring this down to 70. Actually, I'll bring it down to 50. 50 pixels, I mean, and 75% opacity. Oh, let's see. Uh, Mr. KT, man, I'm probably going to draw your drawing eventually. Yeah, no rush. I mean, you don't have to do it at all. Uh, you know, it's cool if you want to, but that's kind of my point is I don't, you know, you do what's fun for you, what makes you happy. I'm not, I'm not trying to dictate anything. If you do me a drawing, that's awesome. If you don't, that's fine too, man. Whatever makes you happy. All right. So a little bit more detail here. More, more liney, scratchy liney than I usually do. It's actually, I realized the the style I was going in was going to take too long, so I'm kind of skipping ahead a few steps and doing it like kind of a mix of two different styles. I'll probably do one more pass over this, but this I I would normally have this would normally be like six passes, you know, and and I'm like ah that's going to take too long, so we'll, we'll make it do four. <laughs> uh, let's see. Um, <clears throat> excuse me. Erzuki, oops, hold on. The main da, 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 Erzuki, the main pilot in the first Pacific Rim. Oh, okay. Uh, he's fine. I liked him okay, but I mean, well, I don't know. He's not Steve Melt. That's true. <laughs> uh, Chris Stonegate. I like to see the guy who played Green Arrow Smallville. I that would be my second choice, or or even my first. Like, yeah, I was bummed that that guy, because I did like him on Smallville, wasn't getting the role of Arrow in the Arrow TV show. But that was you know like eight years ago now. So at this point, I'm I'm good with Steve Amell, you know, so, but if it wasn't Steve Amell, then yeah, uh, the guy who played him in Smallville, whose name I don't remember, but I'm with you on that, Creed. I, I, I was kind of originally mad at Steve Amell for not being that guy, 
<laughs> so, I mean, I guess what that shows is that you could win me over. I mean, similar, I'm a Doctor Who fan. I typically hate all the new Doctors because they're not the last Doctor, but I could be won over. You know, Matt Smith I hated for a long time after David Tennant, but by the end I was sad to see him go. Um, let's see. Justin Hartley was great on Small. Oh, that was his name. Okay. Uh, I was bummed he didn't get oh, Erzuki saying all the same stuff I said. I guess that's why we're married. But with the direction they chose, yeah. Yeah, I get it too. It's because it Stephen Mell is a much darker version uh, of the character. And and as I've said before, this is, you know, the Steve Amell version of Arrow, but I'm not going out of my way to worry about it looking exactly like Steve Amell because that's, that'll take me even longer. And this is already taken forever. But my, yeah, my likenesses are not amazing. So this is a comic book drawing of it, the Steve Amell, you know, if I was hired to do the, I don't know, like, like if I was doing an adaptation of uh, the TV show and we were doing original stories set in that Arrowverse, I guess nowadays though, they do try to make it look exactly like the actor, but I'm thinking of back in the day, it would be more just sort of that look, that type of character without necessarily having photorealistic uh, drawings of them. But, but now, yeah, I guess I wouldn't get that job because nowadays that is what they do. <laughs> <laughs> well, fine. I don't want that job. No, I would happily take that job. I wouldn't be good at it, but I'd take it. <laughs> All right, get the arrow in there. And there's little thin flims. Okay, and they got zip. Zip, zip. And I guess I just noticed he has these sort of... This is what you normally see on, like, a soldier. They're, like, grenade rounds for their gun or something like that. But it makes sense because he has, like, exploding and arrows and stuff. So I guess he keeps a lot of that ordnance on his belts and stuff that you don't really think about when you're watching it. Like, what is all that stuff? But in addition to the leather armor and stuff, there's all kinds of, like, kind of utility belt Batman-y stuff, but for his arrows built in there. All right, and then he's got his quiver. Let's see, I'm missing some chat. Dolly Girl, I love that. Yeah, me too. Uh, I've seen all of New Who and, you know, a good chunk of classic Who, but I've seen everything from Chris Eccleston on, I've seen all of it. Um, they're actually going to have, um, I've, I've seen a couple classic who's where they put them in the theater and some of the newer ones too. They're going to have a, a Tom Baker adventure in the movie theaters in a couple weeks. I'm going to go see, uh, one of the, like Fathom events does them. Uh, I don't know. It's really fun to go to those things. It's like a mini comic con kind of, cause like the crowd are all like nerds, you know, like everybody's there. To, hey, let's watch, you know, a Dr. Who episode on the big screen that was from 1981 or whatever, you know, so it's the only a certain type of person is going to be there. So it's got kind of a fun vibe. Um, <clears throat> excuse me, Diane Glitter looking good. Thank you, Diane Glitter. Erzuki, apparently part of why Steve Mell got the role is that he did a lot of physical training and learned archery for the role. He really, oh, that fair enough. I mean, it, it, it looks like he knows what he's doing. So I guess it's part acting and part actualing, part actualing. I'm going to tuck this hood in a little bit here. I feel like I got it a little bit too far away from his face. More like a, a hoodie as opposed to like a leather hood, which would stick a little closer like that. That's a little better. All right, so let me take this down to 10%. I'm going to take this down to 25%. Take this down to 75%. And then we'll go back in with one more pass here real quick. And we'll do this actual black. And we'll do it at 35. And we'll keep the opacity. We'll make the opacity 80. Uh, let me see what I missed some chat real quick. Um, Erzuki, what they should, whoa, what Erzuki, what they should do is in one of the alternate earths, they should have Justin Harley Biarro. I agree with that. Um, big dog, if they do a Smallville alternate earth, I want Tom Welling and Justin Harley side by side. Yeah, I, I mean, Justin Harley, great, but it's crazy to me that Tom Welling hasn't shown up as Superman. I, he should have been Superman and Supergirl. I don't know if it was his decision or the studio's decision or how that decision was made, but that's ridiculous. Uh, and if he doesn't at least show up as an alternate version of, yeah, that's such a huge missed opportunity. Like, Smallville, uh, as a show, it had its strengths and its weaknesses, and, like, I feel like it kind of took a while to get going, and then it was great, and some of the later seasons got a little weird, but through it all, Tom Welling it, it was a great Clark Kent Superman. Um, and we never, well, great Clark Kent, we never really got to see him be Superman, so that was a bummer. Um, Ox says, oh, wait, hold on. Wow, I'm, I'm missing a lot. You guys are loving this. <laughs> Let's all talk about alternate actors. Uh, I want to see Tom Big Dog. Even that Aquaman was awesome. Yeah, they did a good job in that. Uh, Tom uh, Erzuki Tom Willing is almost looking Earth X Superman at this point. I don't know what Earth X Superman is. Like Kingdom Come, you mean? I'm not sure what you mean there. Uh, Summary Ox and the guy who plays him on TV is in wrestling as well these days. Oh, I didn't know that. Uh, Bart a Big Dog. Bart Allen being there would confuse all the Arrowverse people. That's true. Uh, Diane Glitter thinks the art is turning out great. Well, thank you very much, Diane Glitter. I should probably get back to that. I'm reading the chat so much that I'm making it take longer. But I, I love hearing the chat. It's it's a tough it's a tough road. 
I need I need like someone to uh, I need like a speech to text or something. All right, let me get in here. I'll probably I'm gonna I'm gonna finish up this layer here, and then I might go in with uh, just a shading layer too to put some heavy shadow on it, which I was originally gonna do in the various passes, but as I said, it was getting it was starting to take a little too long, and I want to get to the next request, which I will very shortly. Which reminds me, if you're here watching, you don't have a request in, feel free to put one in. You don't have to chat; doesn't cost any money. You got a random equal chance, just like everybody else. Just exclamation point request then a space, and then write in what your request is. And I will do a random pick, and then maybe it's you. Who knows? One winner, uh, <laughs> one win per person per stream is is the deal. All right, let me get in here a little bit with the eyes. And actually, I didn't draw his eyeballs, but I'm going to do that now. We'll give him some eyeballs. In the comics, he, he often, many superheroes often don't have eyeballs, but I'm going to not do that. I'm going to... Have it shining up because I'm probably gonna put some heavier shadow there. So, oh, I think I changed my color by mistake. Oh, there we go. And then this, yeah, I'm gonna put a heavy black right here. And then I'm also, you know what? I was sort of drawing the mask, but this should all be kind of black in here. And then under the eyes, there. That's better. Yeah, in the show, they kind of have. Like a cut in the later seasons, in the earlier seasons it's all makeup. In the later seasons they have like a rubber mask of some sort, and then they have makeup painted around the eye areas, which makes sense. And they've done that all the way back to Michael Keaton's Batman. But what's funny is when they take off the mask, they're like, and it's an obvious cut because there's not a trace of makeup left. So it's like you're supposed to believe that somehow the makeup goes on and off with the mask, which you know whatever. I can suspend my disbelief. I'd rather they do that and it looks good. Um, but it's just funny. The first time I saw it, I was like, what? Where would the makeup go? You know, like, uh, let's see. Smallville paved the way for the whole Arrowverse. Agreed, uh, says Arizuki. Um, Big Dog, Tom Welling would make a good Arrowverse Kingdom Come Superman. I don't agree with that because he's not old enough. I mean, he's older, but I think Kingdom Come Superman should be like 50, 60, you know, like much older. Um, Big Dog, also a good art guest. Thank you. <laughs> uh, Welling, job. Ugh, terrible. Uh, Arizuki, yeah, I meant Kingdom Come. Okay, he's got salt and pepper hair, but he still looks like he's on Lucifer. Oh, I haven't seen him on Lucifer. Uh, Diane Glitter loves Lucifer. Uh, Erzuki, I haven't watched it yet. <laughs> um, yeah, I mean, even if he... I know he's older than he was, but I, I always think of the, the Kingdom Come Superman... Maybe I'm wrong, but I always think of the Kingdom Come Superman as being much older, where he's like... He looks like a, an in-shape 50, 60, but he's actually like, you know, 80, but just because of his physiology, he, you know, he looks better than his age. Um, I don't know. I haven't seen Tom Welling in a while. Maybe he looks older, but if he... I picture him just looking like a slightly older version of the, the character that was on Smallville, whereas I feel like he should look very different, like almost like a uh, – I can't think of a good actor that would play him, but like like a brick house. Like he shouldn't be thin. He's like like strong but not like cut muscular, but like, like as though he was cut out of a piece of stone. Like those kind of old-fashioned strong men where they just like – they're super muscular, but there's no lines on – there's no definition. They're just like a, like a block, you know, <laughs> just a, a sheet of meat. If you punched him, you'd break your hand. Right, these arrows. Straight lines are always difficult, but I'm going to fake it instead of using a tool. All right, there's that. And then I'm going to go ahead and finish this up with just a little bit of uh, shading on top of everything. We'll go with the dark – green almost black and I'll bring this up and I'm gonna I'll go back in and, and uh, refine this a little bit but for now I just want to I like I, I put them in a lot more shadow than I normally with most characters but green arrow well specifically the green arrow from TV is it seems to always be in shadow half the time like people who would know who he is he's just like draped he's like, hey you know like so Shadow is like another part of his costume, it seems, regardless what season or what's going on. He's always just like, I need to stand in the shadow. I need to make a shadow. My farts are shadows. Everything's a shadow. Okay. Maybe I'll bring this down to 75. Okay. And then I'll just clean it up a little bit there. And maybe I'll do one more layer it's for like the super deep shadow after this. Let me see how we're doing on time. Oh, not too bad. It's not even 630. So... Like I said, I'll go a little bit later, but we definitely got time for one or two more requests, which... Oh, there we go! The farts are in shadow! Well done, Erzuki. Well done. 
Uh, let's see. Tom Welling. Uh, Super. Oh, I got missed a few things. Arizuki, I want to get uh, Arizuki. Supergirl and Flash do a really good job with cameos from the shoes. I agree. Uh, Big Dog. Tom Welling Kingdom Come Superman is greater than Barry from Barry from the Zoom arc with the bad emo hair. Well, I, I would agree with that, but that's that's like apples and oranges. Uh, Arizuki throwing shade or calling shade being thrown. Creed Stonegate. Lucifer is great and sort of like sort of ties to Smallville because he's the DC Universe's devil. Yeah, I didn't know that originally. It, it actually is like part of the Vertigo Sandman thing, right? Like I had heard about the show and then later found out about that part of it. Um, do, 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 do. Um, and then Arizuki's fart. Excellent. We're all caught up. Okay. I'm going to put, like I said, one more layer of shadow for the heavy shadows here. And then we will call it done. So if you don't have a request in, now is the time. I'm going to be selecting the next random request winner very shortly. Within minutes. Within minutes, probably. Minute. minute minute A minute amount of time. Right, and then I'll bring that down to 50. Oops. Bring that down to 50. There we go. The one, you know, the one thing that's wrong with this is I don't have shadow in the background. So let me go ahead and do that. I'm gonna shadow the whole thing flat. I would just fill it, but I didn't do a white outline, and so it would fill him in, and because he's partially transparent. So I'm gonna just fill it in flat first, and then I'll go back in like this, and a little bit here like that. It's the city he's failing. And then I'll put in a little softener, some soft dryer sheet softeners. Oops, that's not what I wanted to do. Oh, it's at 100%. I wanted it at 25%. There we go. Like so. And a little bit over here. Now I'll take the whole thing down to 50. And then put one more layer, kind of like before, with the darker shadow behind. Get a little designy on it, so... You know, is he in the forest? Is he in the city? You know, maybe we're not sure. Maybe we're not sure. And just a little bit here, because it's mostly light coming from that side. This actually came out better than I thought it would. Again, the likeness isn't amazing, but you might not go, hey, that's Steve Amell, but I think most people would know it's Arrow from the TV show Arrow. So, cool. Uh, do I want to put a little shadow on the eyes, maybe? Yeah, like that. There we go. Okay, we'll call it done. File, save as. Arrow. Roger Arrow. What did I do there? I did something wrong. Hold on. Arrow. Save. Okay. And then we're going to erase all this. Erase. Yes. All right. I'm going to close my reference picture and look at the the uh, list. Uh, oh, let me check real quick. Uh, fart Big Dog wasted my request by not putting Cheddar Goblin. Well, if it makes you feel better, Big Dog, Cheddar Goblin is on the list. Uh, Samurai Ox has put it on there uh, for, I think, two weeks in a row now, unless it was three. Uh, I can remove it if you want to re-enter. That is true, uh, Big Dog. If you, wanna, if you want me to remove it, I could do it right now before I do the random. So let me know. That would mean it's twice. Oh, all good. I'm mainly just showing up. I have the Cheddar Goblin King. I don't know. <laughs> <laughs> okay 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 all right so let me get a picture so i know what's going we got seven requests up right now I'll take a picture here it's not doing a good job of getting clear okay oh there we go okay taking a picture picking a random go okay so let's see what's missing now it is not marshall lee it uh-oh wait a minute uh-oh uh-oh, it's Samurai Ox with the Cheddar Goblin! It's finally happening after weeks of waiting. Claims of... <laughs> Double it up. They didn't even have to. After weeks of waiting, claims of things being rib rigged, tables being flipped, check it out, Cheddar Goblin. And here, here's how you know I'm a professional, because I knew he wasn't going to quit until it happened. So I already downloaded some reference for Cheddar Goblin that I could pull up right now. I just have to open the folder. So I don't have to search as long. Oops, that's not the right folder. I say that and I'm still making it take forever. <laughs> All right. So video. Do, 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 do. Can't believe you won. Happy for you, sir. Happy for you. Where's my video folder? It's all rigged. <laughs> no, no, no. Creed thinks it's rigged. Oh, I can't win. Hold on one second. Cheddar Gab. Actually, I'm going to take a sip of water. All right. 
I'm I, I totally saved reference and now I'm having trouble finding it. I think I saved it under videos Twitch. All right, sorry about that. I did this in an effort to save time. Okay, oh good, here it is. I found it. No, no, I didn't. Oh, there it is. Okay, good. Whoo, Cheddar Goblin Ahoy. So for those that don't know, not this is the Cheddar Goblin. Uh, and she's standing next to this green man. I don't know who he is, but uh, so I will be doing Cheddar Goblin. I have other reference besides that one, by the way. <laughs> okay, and he is from a movie called Mandy, which is a bizarre Nick Cage horror movie that is uh, on Shudder right now. And there was a commercial in it, a fake commercial, featuring the Cheddar Goblin, which is what this character is. And it's pretty awesome, and Ox has been trying to get it uh, chosen for a while now. So let's see. Uh... Ox saying goblin, big dog. So all trolls aside, what's the Cheddar Goblin from? Oh, I just told you. Wait, you saw the movie with us, big dog. You should know this, unless you were sleeping at that point. Dying Glitter, congrats, Samurai Ox. Ox is sipping his tea. Dolly Girl, mac and cheese. That's true, too. Uh, the com Erzuki, the commercial in Mandy was made by the same guy that made who, ma who made too many cooks, which makes perfect sense. All right, so let me start. Enough talk. It's time to gobble. Goblin. Okay, let me bring that down. <clears throat> I think I'll start with 36 uh, pixel and 75 opacity. Let me move my reference over so I can see what the chat is chatting. There we go. Okay. Uh-oh. Check, check. Yeah, there we go. Uh, Ox, I also have you a bunch on Twitter tonight. I don't know what that means. I also have you a bunch on Twitter tonight? I don't know what that means. <laughs> Big dog. May or not, may not have dozen, dozed off during the acid trip from we know as Mandy. Ah, I gotcha. Samurai Ox. It's gobbling good. <laughs> it is gobbling good. You know what? That's too big. I'm going to take that down. That's better. Okay. It's gobbling good. It's got a big old nose, and it's got a big old mouth. It's gobbling good, and it's coming out. Yeah, mac and cheese flying through. His nostrils, they puke it up too. Yeah, gobbling. This is not the song from the... I don't, I don't even remember if there was a song, but there should be one. Some eyes, his little bald head, and his big old ears. <laughs> Such a ridiculous concept. I love it. It definitely was my favorite part of the whole movie. I mean, the ending was pretty cool, but, like, for a while, that movie was a slog, and that part definitely helped carry me through that commercial. It helped me carry on as a wayward son. Uh, da -da 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 -da. Oh, Samurai's gave me a bunch of Twitter f on Twitter for us. Oh! Oh, well, thanks, but I did not see that. Uh, usually... When I'm about to, like, I don't know when you sent it. I'm guessing it was, like, after 4.30 because around, like, I start getting into, like, setting up mode and, like, you know, I get a glass of water and I go in the other room or, you know, go to the bathroom, all that kind of stuff. So, like, when I say, hey, I'm going to be streaming soon, that's, like, the last time I look at social media for hours. So I appreciate that, but uh, sorry. Okay, and so what he does is he pukes up, you know, mac and cheese on kids, and they love it. They're like, yay! And this guy, he's got his mouth open. Yay, put it right in my mouth. Hazoo. I'm such a happy kid. So let me, I'm going to take this whole thing and shrink it a little bit, but I'm also going to turn the angle some. There we go. And shrink it a little bit more. That's good. Because I want to make sure we get like, that we're going to get the energy of the mac and cheese flying at high velocity out of his, his goblin mouth. Yeah. Yeah. Mac and cheese, and then and then you got another kid over, uh, this kid over here too is like, yeah, me next, me next, yeah. <laughs> and she's she's got a little like a little bit overspray is hitting her, but that's not enough for her. Okay, so 50%. Let's get in here with some detail. I'm gonna bring this down to 25. Keep it at 75. Yes. All right. So he's got kind of a big nose with crazy big nostrils like this. Is that on the wrong? No, it's on the right layer. Okay. <clears throat> Excuse me. All right. I'm glad I remembered water this time. I didn't need to have Hydration Bot yelling at me. I didn't have to have Erizuki rescuing me. I could just take a sip of water before I uh, fall prey to dehydration. All right. So he's... 
yeah, he's got little squinted eyes, but he's got like very thick eye, uh, eye couplets, eye couplets, eyelids. <laughs> These are my couplets, my eye couplets. I got one, two. They're a couplet. I guess technically, like, like the verbiage is not inaccurate, but nobody, you know, nobody would call that in common parlance of our times. All right, and then he's got a big old like, argh, like these, argh, like these are his sacks. Those are his Mac sacks. He man, he's not. It's not like he ate a bunch and and, and he's puking it up. He manufactures it in his Mac sacks. So it's it's hygienic, like the way urine. It's hygienic. It's all it's all good. You think you're like, oh, gross. He's gonna puke. But no, you're like, oh, let me get my face right in there. I wanna I want him <laughs> puking up that mac and cheese right in my mouth. It's the best I've ever had. Yeah, Q can't wait. Oh, let's have mac and cheese for dinner. Oh, it'll be so good. You want me to puke it out of my Mac sacks? <laughs> Erzuki is not enjoying this uh, line of <laughs> thought. Let's see. Uh, it's Goblin good, but do 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 do. This is the best. <laughs> Erzuki so gross. Ox, that's a weird way of spelling great. <laughs> good for you. Let me get this back up. I didn't like the way I made his head there. Should be a little bit more. Why does that always? Okay, there we go. All right, the mouth, he's got this crazy mouth, which doesn't make sense anatomically. So let me, let's see, he's sort of a big, like an oval circle mouth. It's almost like he broke his jaw and his like, his lip skin is ripping to be able to do this. It, it doesn't make sense, but that's, but it'll heal back and, and whatever, you know, whatever ripped off, that'll just go into the next batch. It's fine. <laughs> My goal is to get Erzuki to, to vomit mac and cheese behind me. <laughs> mac sacks. Fifth Avenue. <laughs> All right, so we get that. I'm not gonna I'm not gonna draw the mac and cheese. I'm gonna do that with a different on a different layer, I think. So I'm just gonna worry about him right now. <clears throat> He's got a lot of little details i i think i'm gonna do a color pass so i'm not gonna this will be my final like line pass and i'll do a color pass after so i'm gonna be a little bit sloppier than i'd like but that's fine because you know he's the cheddar goblin he's a sloppy pukey empty in his max sacks doesn't have to be precise blasting out his cheddar cheese and now it is your vice begging for his cheese puke in your mouth yeah i could see why they uh maybe didn't make this a real thing for a minute i thought maybe it was a real commercial and the, then when he started vomiting everywhere i'm like maybe not <laughs> maybe it's possible this isn't a real commercial although i would love it if they start making it as a brand you know sometimes like thingles will be in a movie and then become like a real brand i would love that okay and he's got sort of weirdly kind of muscular pecs and shoulders for this little goblin thing that he is and then a little skinny arm i'll bring this in and it kind of yeah this whole body is very weird it's got kind of like a a little bit of a gut but it's that like veins and stuff in it it's real real weird a lot of lines and like i don't know is this skin decaying or is that scales i don't know but he's got like pock marks all over <laughs> so, Samurai Ox, Max Sacks. I'm crying because of <laughs> And a little troll face guy. Awesome. Well, I'm glad you're enjoying it. You certainly waited long enough for this to happen, so I'm glad it's not a disappointment. I'm going to change this nose a little bit. I think it goes up a little bit more than I was having it go up. Okay, and I'm actually going to... I'm going to put some shading in here, but I'm going to... I'm going to draw the mac and cheese in color over it, so... But I, yeah, maybe I'll put just a few little chisels up here. Okay, we'll come back to that. Um, oh, the kids. Let me let me do the kids. Okay. So yay, we're kids. We love the puke in our mouth. Yay, yay, we're kids. A big old smile and a big old open mouth. I'm not even looking at the kid in the commercial because it, it's hard to capture how happy he is. I think I need to just get extra cartoony for that. Yay, we're kids. Puke it in our mouth. Yay, we're kids. All right. Erzuki, I'm not hungry anymore. Oh, you will be. When you when you, when you you hear the, the rumbling... 
and then you smell the the first smells of cheese coming. Oh boy. Oh boy. You'll think you're not hungry, and then you'll go. Oh, you'll run over there with your mouth open. Yay, the cheese. Puke it in our face. You'll be singing the song. You're like, I didn't even know I knew the words. <laughs> Yay, the cheese. Dee ba dee ba days. This kid's here, and then, yeah, then the other girl is like, yay, the cheese, I want to go next, yay, the cheese, puke it up for breakfast. <laughs> she's she's smiling, but she's actually a little bit mad and jealous, because she's getting puked on only a little bit. She, she wanted the full blast, so she's like, yay, I guess, I mean, good for him, but I'm only getting the, the spray, but, you know, that that's fine, okay, yay. So her her smile is is not as big and like a little bit disingenuous. Like she's happy to be there and be part of it, but she definitely feels like she's getting the short end of the stick or the the weak end of the spray. <laughs> I don't know if you guys could hear Erzuki in the background getting grossed out and gagging as I talk about this, but that's that's my that's my prize. That's what I've won. <laughs> and she's got little pigtails. She wishes they were puke tails. <laughs> All right, let me put his a little bit more of his body. Some more of his arm in the back. Actually, no, his other arm should be out. Like, yeah, like that. Oh, I actually even did that in the original sketch. But I forgot the face of my father. All right. All right, so let me turn this way, way down. Okay. And then, oops. Put a little dark in his hair, like so. And then let's go ahead and do the mac and cheese. I'm going to make it like a dark orange for the outline. And then we'll go back in and fill it all in with like a yellow. But i got to bring this way down to like 12. There we go. So first we'll kind of... Oops, why is that not going? 12, 12. Oh, there it goes. Oh, doo -doo -doo. oh my god, please make this a princess ox. <laughs> I think I'd be banned from some shows if I did. First, I'm going to do kind of a, a heavy stream, and then I'll go back in and make... Like, first, it's just going to look like kind of orange puke. And then I'll go back in and, and make it look more like mac and cheese coming out as well. But the puke is the important part. And we'll get... So some of it definitely has to go in his mouth. Yeah. Okay, there we go. Yay, the cheese. Puke it in her mouth. Yay, the cheese. I'm so lucky, yeah. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> they're happy but it still makes him gag a little bit okay and then just like a little bit she's like oh gosh i hope that lands right in my eye or my mouth something i don't know a little bit of spray a little, little bit on her forehead maybe hit her a little bit he's already got globs all over him Blah. this is not the first round this is like this is his third blast he's <laughs> let me put a little bit on the hair okay and then I'll go in and actually draw some macaronis. Now, see, if I was have had all the time in the world, I would, I would. Oh, you know, here's what I'm gonna do, because I want to draw tons and tons of little macaronis to really make to sell it. But I can see it taking a really, really long time. So here, I'm gonna cheat it a little bit, and I'm gonna draw a little cluster of macaronis like so, and then I'm gonna copy that and paste it all over, so it'll kind of give the illusion that I've done more work than I have, which is something I like to do a lot. <laughs> Cause I, well, it's funny because I do a lot of work, but it doesn't always show. And then I'll do things like this, and it'll seem like I've done more work in a particular area. All right, so copy, and then paste. And we'll slide that over like this. And then paste. And then we'll slide that over. Oops, not that one. We'll lock that down, lock that down, lock that down. And we'll bring it over here. Actually, you know what I'm going to do? I'm going to merge those two together, and then I'll copy and paste that. Flip it. Oops. I hate the new windows, the way it lets you grab random layers, because I never want to grab random layers. And I, it's something I should probably look into turning off somehow, but I'm not sure what I'm doing. All right, so I'll shrink this down a little bit. Put it like that. Okay. And then we'll merge that down. And we will copy and paste that whole thing. Puke it in my mouth. Yeah. There it goes, a little bit right in the mouth. Perfect. And we'll paste again. And we'll flip it over this way and skew it a little bit. Oops, where we go? 
skew it that way a little bit and just mess with the size a bit. Actually, make it very much smaller. Like that's coming out of the back of his hackles. Hackles. And we'll do another one over here. Turn it this way. It's just spraying on his face a little bit. And then this is the pieces that are kind of maybe going to make it to her. Oh my gosh, she's so excited. I hope it makes it in me. Okay. And then a couple more little randoms just so it's not quite so obvious that it was a stamp. Let me check. Um, Erzuki, I hate how much Glee Gaz gets from Vomit. It's like his favorite thing in comedies. It's true. It makes me laugh so much. I, I love puke. It's so funny. Um, Samurai Alex, I'm actually picking up some digital tricks from this too. <laughs> oh yeah, the copy and paste, especially with texture stuff, it definitely, you could get away with a lot. And, and the, the key is just to like keep, you know, uh, add a few things like I am now, and, and when you're copy and pasting, definitely, you know, change it, shrink it, flip it, whatever, so it doesn't look as noticeable. Um, and I wouldn't, uh, this is like kind of sloppy, I wouldn't normally do it quite this sloppy, but that'll be good for now. So merge that down, and then merge that down. We're going to merge all these into one layer. Merge that down. All right, so actually I want to shrink this in a little bit. I think the uh, the vector of the fluid is a little bit off here. It should be getting wider as it comes out of his mouth, like so. There we go. That's better. Got to have a correct fluid vector. All right. I'm going to turn off that background. Now I'm going to throw in some color. And how are we doing on time? Oh, we're good. It's about quarter to seven. So we've definitely got time for at least one more. Maybe two. We'll see. Depending on the how complicated the request is. Uh, and if you have, are you watching and you're lurking or you're chatting or whatever you're doing, but if you don't have a request in, feel free to put it in. It doesn't cost anything. It doesn't chat anything. It doesn't chat anything. You don't have to chat. You don't have to do anything. All you have to do is exclamation point, the word request, a space, and then the thing that you want to request. And then you're in the running randomly with everybody else. And once I finish this, I will choose the next random request winner and we'll see what happens. Okay. Get some green on him. Do 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 do. Puke it in her face. Cheese it in our mouth. Use your max sex in our eyes. What a surprise! This had more liquid than I expected. <laughs> Is that bile? I'm not de dejected. Uh, and it, well, you can actually see kind of some pink inside his mouth too, in addition to the uh, to the mac and cheese color. So I'll, let me see if I can find a. Good little, it's a pink-ish, I should say, but this kind of area here. I'll go over it with the uh, mac and cheese color. Don't worry, it won't be just this color. That would be ridiculous. Okay, other than that, he's pretty monochrome. He's got some shadows and stuff, but uh, I, I guess I'll do a little bit of shadow on him. Sort of a, almost a bluish hue, maybe? A bluish hue. Big off. I got some bluish hue, and I got some Mac for you. I'm going to puke it out my mouth. Puke it out my mouth. Hork, 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 here comes the cheese. Hork, 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 I'll give it to you, please. Puke, 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 lick it up real good. Puke, 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 you are now my brood. All right, and I'll do a little bit of highlight as well. And then give it a little bit of yellow chutes. I think uh, Q just had something to say about my horking, puking song, but I, I, I can't see it just yet. Now, if you notice, I'm making all the lighting kind of as though the puke is a light source, which makes no sense, but I don't care. I just want to make sure we get emphasis in that area. Okay, I'll bring this down to 75. I'll bring this down to 75. That's good. Uh, what is the chat saying? Um, Samurai Alex, LOL. Uh, oh, wait, hold on. <laughs> Erzuki says, Ox, you can, you too could draw realistic and chunky mac and cheese vomit using the Gazbot method. Okay! Uh, Danny, rip pan. I don't know what that means. Uh, Erzuki, I really want a first-time viewer to come right at this moment. <laughs> and be like, <laughs> All right, so let me go ahead and get the kids colored a little bit, and then we're almost ready to move on. Oop. Do-do-do. 
I'm getting puked on and I love it. Oh boy, I get it in my eyes and mouth. And as I said, like this is definitely not his first time doing this. Like he's he was waiting. He's like, oh, finally, we're going for round two. Yes. People are like, you want cereal for breakfast? Or he's like, no, no, I'm not eating until dinner time. I want to have maximum storage space for the cheese puke from the Cheddar Goblin. Oops, that is his lip, not his teeth. That is his lip, not his teeth. Boom. And get his tongue in. Yeah. All right. Oh, just put a little color in his hair. That's fine. And then we'll give her a shirt. And then the last thing I'm going to do is put the color for all the mac and cheese. But I want to get these guys sorted out first. Well, guy and girl. It's a little boy and a little girl. They're getting along. Regardless of sex, age, race, religion, gender, doesn't matter. They just want to be puked in the face by a cheddar goblin, as as all people do. It's it's a lovely message. It's a lovely message of togetherness and goblin puke. Okay, there's white for the teeth and the eyes. And go back to pink for her tongue. Okay, that's that. I'll put a little bit of pink on her nose. Oh, that's too much pink for her nose. But she does need a little bit of shading on her face. Yeah, there we go. And on her hair. Okay. So now I'm going to go top, and I'll go under just the, the orange for the mac and cheese, and on top of everything else. So I'll pick a nice bright yellow. And I'm going to pencil tool. Let me actually turn all this stuff off, except for that one. And then I'm going to start off making this like kind of one big mass, and then I'll probably erase little pieces out of it. So we'll just color all that in, and these little spots here, and on the glops on his face, a little bit of glop on her face, and these mac and cheese I'm just going to kind of dabble. It's not going to be perfect, but good enough. I'm going to dabble. And then I'll put a couple little splotches out here too, maybe a little bit near his nose. Yeah, because that's, you know, when you puke it comes out of your nose sometimes. If you're doing it right. <laughs> if you're doing it right. All right, let me see if I can fill that in. Yes, okay. So then I'll take this opacity down to 50, just so I can see through it. And then I'll do some erasing. Like, oops. Like that. And just cut in a little bit, because we don't want it to be 100% solid. Because it is like a gloopy, sploppy, watery mess. It's not like an energy beam or something blasting out. So I'm just kind of erasing at random in there. And let's see if I bring it up to 75. That's pretty good. Let me see if I put all the rest of it in. That's pretty good, but not great. I think I took a little bit too much out here. And I think what I'll do is get a brighter yellow for a highlight. And I'll bring it down and just sort of get some highlights in here. Oop, I'm going to put this on top of everything like that. There we go. And then I'll pick out a couple of the little ch cheddars, elbows and stuff. Again, more spots, more spots, more spots. Really, this should have like 16 different like colors of orange and yellow to really make it work. But I could tell I'm spending a lot of time on this. So this will be the last pass I do. And then I'll just throw a background color. But by putting a light color, it kind of pulls out some of the cheddars, uh, some of the elbow max, I should say, the cheddars. Uh, let's see. Um, I run a first time video to Danny. My request was pan. Then why'd you say rip pan? You don't want it anymore? I don't know. Maybe I'm a rip like done, but that's what I don't get. Pan is your request, which is still in. You want me to take it off or, or am I not getting the vernacular of the, the youth? Um, Summer Ox, I just want this as a birthday card. I send you all my friends with guests. I think you might've mistyped. But <laughs> I'm not sure. I'm not going to repeat what you said on stream, though. Okay. And I'll put in a background color of, I don't know, black? Purple. Purple. There we go. Dark, dark purple. Okay, I'm going to zoom out and get an interesting brush texture. Let's see what they have in legacy brushes. Okay. 
bigger. I need it bigger. Hork. Puke it in my mouth. Chatter in my face. Puke it in our faces. Thank you, Chatter Goblin. You're our father now. <laughs> You're our father now. All right, take this down to 50. And then make this more of a blue. And do one more for some extra darks. Okay, and we'll take that down to 50 as well. All right. I would love to work on this forever, but I think I should stop. So, file, save as, Gabo, Dunzo. Let me clear that, and we'll pull up the next request. So you have mere seconds if you want to add a new request. Merge layers, delete, yes. Um, let's see. Dollinger, while this drug is intense, yes, indeed. Well, this is the reference picture I was looking at to give you an idea. So, <laughs> uh... Danny, no, I put rip in the wrong chat. Oh, okay, cool. No problem, Danny. Uh, Summary Ox, song. Oh, song. Yes, that makes more sense. Okay, so we got six requests in. Let me take a picture here. Doot, doot, doot. And this will probably be the last one. I'm not sure. Okay, took the picture, and I'm going to do the random. Cloop, did the random, and let's see what we got here. It was not Marshall Lee. It was not Dolly Girl. It was not Creed Stonegate. It was not Danny F9. Oh, it was Hexmataz. Hexmataz, a rejected Super Sentai concept. Hmm. Okay, so for those that don't know, Super Sentai is Power Rangers in uh, the U.S. So let's see, what do we got here? Oh, Sheepy1 leaving a lurk. Pipe, 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 pipe. With the hype pipe and the pipe hype. Thank you very much, Sheepy, for the lurk and the pipe, 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 pipe. All right, so we're going to do a rejected Super, Sam, uh, Super Sentai concept. I'm going to change my image mode. I'm going to rotate my canvas back the way it was. Actually, we'll do it like this. We'll go 9 by... No, width 6. Yes, width 6, height 9. Proceed. All right, and so yeah, Power Super Sentai is Power Rangers in Japan, so it's it's visually it's the same thing as far as the suits. So he's saying to do a rejected design. Now, uh, I'm assuming he doesn't mean an actual. Why does I keep doing that? I'm assuming he doesn't mean an actual design that was rejected, but more my idea of what's rejected. Because if it was rejected, I don't know how I would know. I'd have to do some research and stuff. So I will be creating a Super Sentai themed character that would not have been chosen. So while I think about that. I'm going to first just, oop, I have the wrong brush on here. Hold on a sec, sorry. I am in the wrong category and everything. Boots, there we go. So first I'm just going to kind of do a, a pose, like a g generic body pose while I think of what, because most Super Sentai characters are basically a thin, athletic, you know, kind of muscular, but more of like an acrobatic muscular person in spandex. And then they might have armor pieces and other things that go with it. And then there'll be a theme that kind of pulls the whole thing together. But, uh, let me, sorry, my phone is dinging. Let me turn that off. Let me take a sip of drink too. Yeah, that's right. Sip of drink, not just water. I have water and I have diet right. I'm, I'm kicking it crazy time. All right. So, uh, but so, yeah, then they'll have a theme like, you know, dinosaurs. Mighty Morphin Power Rangers, the original, was dinosaurs, for example. So the idea is to pick a theme or a character that would not have been chosen. So I'm going to think about that. They've done a lot of themes, some of which you would think would not have been chosen, you know, but they still were. So first things first, I got to get this pose. That foot looks weird. <clears throat> Excuse me. Okay. So we'll take that down to 50. And let me think here. I'm going to bring this to 20. And I'll bring the opacity up to 75. So let's say, hmm, what would be a theme that wouldn't? Let's see. Uh, Hexatasm, soak my man made it. Yeah, uh, good, good luck. You had good luck. Uh, Dolly, the dinosaur series, I'm going to my favorite. Yeah, they've had two and now they're doing the third unless there was some that i'm forgetting i think it's just uh 
the original Mighty Morphin and, and Dino Thunder, which was Abba Ranger and Zoo Ranger, and then now they have, um, I forget the name of the new one. I think they're like Dragon Knights or something, but it's Dinosaur. I don't remember. All right, so I'm giving them gauntlets. I had an idea, and I'm already forgetting. Okay. So, oh, you know, I was going to say like a food or a fruit kind of thing, but Kamen Rider actually did that, and it was one of the more popular seasons. So it's that's the thing. It's like you have to think of something – It even a ridiculous thing might do well. So let's say – Hmm. Well, I'm going to keep working on these gloves because I, I like these gloves for whatever. They, they, they could be all purpose. They could work for whatever. I, You know what? I'm going to go with sports because I'm not a big sports fan, and I don't think there's ever been a sports Sentai team. And, I mean, maybe they could make it work, but I've, I've never seen it. So, so here's what we'll do. We're going to give him pads on his leg like a catcher would in baseball or like a goalie would in hockey. So I'm not, it's not going to be one particular sport. It's going to be like, maybe that's, okay, maybe this is the thing. It wasn't a sports-themed themed Sentai. It was a Sentai where everybody was, like, good at something. You know, in real life, like, one guy was, like, a really good sports person. Another guy was, like, a really good singer and whatever. But then their own personal henshins, transformations. Oh, there's a fart. I like it. I like it. I'm eating it with my mouth. Yes. Thank you. Thank you. <laughs> Gassy Sentai Fart Force. That would have been good. That would have been good. But I think we just did the uh, puke one, so I don't, want, I don't know if I want to do two sophomore humors in a row. Uh, but no, maybe the idea is that each um, member is, has a specialty in some sort of creative or, or athletic field or whatever, but the reason it got rejected is because instead of being like football force, it was like, I am the sport ranger. And so he's kind of mixing cleats with like rollerblades. Actually, yeah, let me move this up a little bit. I'm going to give him a rollerblade, uh, but only on one foot. And it's just like a big mishmash that doesn't go together real well. And that's why it was rejected. Not just because, oh, we hate sports. What the heck? There we go. So he's got I was going to give an ice skate, but that would that would make no sense. One rollerblade, you could like argue that he could somehow use it. And then he's got a kind of got padded pants like a football player has here. And then, you know what, let me... Everybody has these gloves, though. This is like the unifying factor. And uh, his weapon, it'll be a hockey stick on top. But it has like, because it's Sentai, it's got like an axe blade thing coming out of it. Like that. But then on the bottom, it turns into a jump rope, which is also sort of a nunchuck in one hand, <laughs> which kind of doesn't make any sense. But again, this is a rejected Sentai theme. So it's uh, and then up top here, he's got kind of a basketball jersey pattern um, and it's still uh, spandex, but it, it looks like a jersey. And then whatever the, the name of the team is like, or, or better yet here, it actually has his name. It's like Sport Ranger. Can't really see it because the sticks in the way, but it's. You know, and then on the back, it's like number four or something ridiculous. Oh, and he's got a cup, but it wears on the outside because why not? Superheroes wear their underwear on the outside. And then we'll give him kind of Mad Max style. He's got like one shoulder pad from like rugby or football or something on that side. And then this arm is bare, but it's got some wraps like maybe a martial artist might have or something. And then his helmet. OK, so let me get in with the helmet. We gotta zoom in a little bit here. Well, we'll give it. It's gotta have that kind of gridiron thing that like football players have. So we'll give it that first. And then underneath, it's got like a chin strap area. And then instead of the normal kind of visor, he's got sort of aviator glasses. And then this is sort of like the sides of a baseball helmet. I'll bring this up top. And actually, oh, yeah, I'll give him a visor, too, like a baseball visor on top. And then this is going to be all black in here. And put, I don't know, like an arrow or something just so it looks a little superhero-y. And then, you know, like fire flies out of this one roller blade. And then, of course, there's uh, maybe uh, this is an explosion. If you want it to be fart, then so be it. But it's just, you know, he's super, he's a Sentai character. So there's, ah, oh, look at this explosion of crazy coming out from behind him. And then, yeah, some rocks and stuff. 
and maybe maybe he's got like for whatever reason when it explodes there's like tennis balls and like hockey pucks and stuff just like randomly <laughs> they don't help him or anything they're just like whoa like like over here is a basketball that's not how basketball looks close enough who cares <laughs> and then i'll put a baseball down here bowling ball there you go that's that's one sport i've actually played is bowling so i'll do that and what else what else what other sports are there soccer badminton oh, okay here so so badminton so then what do you call it a shuttlecock i think it's called or a birdie it's probably a better way of saying it one of those flying out yeah all right i'm not going to do color i'll do a quick shadow layer though blue shadow let me get this in oops oh bigger 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 there we go Anybody got a suggestion for a name? I was calling him Sport Ranger, but if you got a better idea, I'm, I'm open to it. And also the name of the team of all these sort of experts that are like doing too much in each field. Like like the performance art one would be like, I'm a singer and an actor and a mime and a poet. And like they'd all be, everything would be too much in one. Oops, I hate those guide layers. Come on, Photoshop. Be like old Photoshop. Do 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 Okay, bring this all down to 50. I'll put a couple little extra pieces. Can I turn that off? Yeah, I can turn that off. Yeah, I think that uh, I think that about does it. Yeah, I mean there could be more, but uh, he's rejected, so he doesn't have to be. <laughs> you know, this is as good as it gets. It did. They're like, that's not quite good enough. So uh, yeah, we're gonna be done with that. So let me save that, and we'll call him Rejecto. I'm gonna move this over. I think we're about done. Yeah, we're a little over seven, so I'm, I'm gonna I'm gonna call it. Went a little bit later to finish one more, so I'm glad we got that one done. But we've been a, about an hour and a half-ish, so now a little bit over. That's cool. But uh, I would like to thank everybody who came and checked it out and who came on a Sunday. Uh, I, I apologize for not being able to do it on. Um, oops, hold on a second. Uh, on Friday as usual. I always aim for Friday, but if I can't, you know, I'm happy that I, you guys just still make time for me and show up and request or chat or lurk or, or anything. Host the stream, throw out the request. So for those that got the request, congratulations. I hope you enjoyed them. For those that didn't, I'm sorry. Maybe next time. Um, you know, like I said, I do this every week. I should be back next week, Friday as normal. Um, hold on a second. Let me check chat. Uh, big dog. Renaissance Rangers playing on the concept of Renaissance Man. That's not a bad idea, actually. Renaissance Rangers. That 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 could work. That could be the the translation. Like maybe in Japan it was something else, but then they translate it here as as Renaissance Rangers. Because it also is like that should be a good name, but it sounds kind of lame. So it's not that good a name, I guess. <laughs> um, and as I said before, I'll have more details if you check. Uh, I'm Gazbot everywhere. Um, on Instagram, I'm Gazbot with two T's. I'm on Facebook. I'm on YouTube. You can find me all over. Uh, and if you follow me one of those places, or if you just keep an eye on here. Uh, I'm going to be starting another show soon-ish, details to follow, but again, more on that to come uh, in the next week or two, but I will definitely be back here next Friday for this. Uh, meanwhile, let me see if I could uh, send a raid to someone to give someone else a little bit of love. Let's see who's online right now. Do, 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 do. Uh, you know what? We'll send it over to Sheepy, who stopped in to say hello. So we'll say Sheepy1, and we'll get that. Uh, whoops. That is not going. Why is that not going? I did something wrong. Hold on. Raid sheepy one. I always forget how to do this when it's time to do this. Have you noticed that? Okay, so we're going to go over there in just a few seconds. So thank you, everybody, for watching. I hope you have a good little bit of the rest of your weekend. Have a good night. I'll see you next week, and say hi to sheepy. Bye-bye. Powering down.